Hey, I notice yeah. you're all over YouTube. Mm -hmm. All over YouTube. Just type in Ja and you see Ja Doctrine like a billion times, right? True, true. So is that one of the ways that you're marketing yourself? And um, just tell out. me some more about <laughs> <laughs> <Nah. laughs> <The secret's laughs> <out. laughs> No, that's, yeah, I mean, most definitely. That's, uh, I suggest to any young Bahamian artist that that want to get there, if, no matter what you're doing, it ain't just got to be music. If you painting, if you making spare tires or whatever, just people on the internet, get your name out there, brand yourself, let people know what you're doing. If they don't know what you're creating, then how you can ever make it? They got to know that you're there. So right. get out there on the internet. So aside from YouTube, how else are you marketing yourself? Um, well, through in the songs on the radio. That's, 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 the, that's, the, that's the key thing, uh, getting out there and meeting people and doing shows, um, internet marketing, uh, you know what I mean, um, just the regular way where just people see you, people hear you, people get, get to taste you, mm -hmm. and that's how I do it. And it's been working for you. Uh, do you have the tempo dream? Do you want to get on tempo? I have, I have the BET MTV tempo VH1 dream. What? <laughs> <laughs> we all do. Yeah, yeah. All right, so how close is that to happening, though? Um, well, what I, I have a video out there right now called My Story. Okay. And we, we, I haven't, I mean, I, I plan on sending it to Tempo. I'm just waiting on getting a little bit more things done mm -hmm. before we send it there. Um, but what I plan on doing really is, is releasing an album next year mm -hmm. and having a few videos um, to go along with it. What's um, My Story? Mm -hmm. Is that getting any airplay here in the Bahamas? Yeah, 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 yeah. My story uh, on the Bahama Hot Ones count now. What are you saying around DC? Everything cool? Yeah, <laughs> make, the, make things possible. And it ain't just me magically coming out and, and just putting everything out there. It's people that actually said yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And just like you. You know what I mean? So you yes. got to shout out everybody that, that helped. You know what I mean? Are you calling me easy? No, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> he said I just said yes. What the heck? No, All right. Scratch <laughs> Uh, education. How important is education in a music career? Because a lot of people seem to believe that, you know, fine, I can sing and um, that's it. But there's so much more to it. There's marketing, there's mm. legal stuff. Yeah, How yeah, important yeah. is that? Well, it's important to educate yourself on, 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 on all aspects of, the, of, the, of the, any industry you involve in as old, young person, middle age, whatever. But in the music industry, yeah, man, you gotta know, you gotta know the ins and outs, you know, copyrights, and make sure no one could steal your stuff. And mm -hmm. you know, you gotta know a little bit about about how these lawyers can come at you, or these booking agents can come at you, and things like that. Because everybody out to get a piece, and if you don't know what's going on, you're mm -hmm. gonna get shell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. So it's important um, to education. What you mean, like school education? Yeah, yeah school. Because a lot of people think you just drop out and become oh, yeah, famous yeah, yeah, all yeah. of a sudden. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could just spin off of what I was just saying. I mean, if you can't count, you can't do A, B, and C, and you can't read, and you can't articulate yourself in mm -hmm. certain ways, then you ain't, you ain't going to be able to, to, to be in certain environments to a certain extent. So you want, I mean, education is the key. I mean, knowledge is power. Your song, My Story, what influenced that? And you did that with that girl from Freeport. Vicky, yeah. Vicky. Yeah, so we still work together, you know, right. the, the original right. doctrine. Right. What influenced the song? Yeah. Uh... That song was written when I was in the States um, and I was just really feeling the, the, the burn and the urge to yo, get my music home and get Bahamians feeling, loving, listening to it. Mm -hmm. And really it's just a, like a story about, it's like a, a snapshot of my life story telling certain aspects like, you know what I mean, growing up being adopted and not really knowing about it until I was a little older and just dealing with those feelings and emotions that go with that. Um, uh, just not knowing your history and maybe what brought me to who I am today in certain ways. Right. Um, and then it deals with being a teenager and battling the choices that teenagers go through. You know what I mean? What I can do, right, wrong, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Up, down, um, those types of things. And, and just really developing as a, as a poet, as an artist, and as a lyricist and really t having, having the discipline to stick through and learn and practice and become better and get to where I am today with performing and you know what I mean? Developing yourself as an artist, so the song really cataloging that experience mm -hmm. from my perspective. You know what I mean? Um, just I want to hear your rapping side, though. Rap side? Yeah. Right. Just think you um, can give us a little something. Yeah, yeah, something. yeah. Well, hard times and everyday struggles, fixing that puzzle, juggling for cheddar, huddled in the cold weather. 
Hard times and hard rhymes, I'm just a dough getter. Homie, you know better. Stubby a show getter. I know a O, get a buck sixty O better. Hard times, then turn me to a gold setter. With the road that I roll, he ain't get no better. Holding my own dough, foot on the table every day. Satan be interfering, but I be engineering tracks. Is you hearing that? All the loneliest people. Females in love and the fellas who ain't holding no paper. Shooting Bacardi, no chaser. Well, it's the taste that breaks ya. Take it to the edge, then rape your paper. Ain't in my nature, they said that I hate ya. He really ain't like me. They beat your face down to the white meat. But I ain't gonna lie, see. I don't care if you like me. You might have to fight me if you're stopping what I eat. On the hustle every night, you hear me? We don't like sleep. You've been broke off by Ja Doctrine, aight? All right, um, do you see yourself as a role model? Yeah, most definitely. If you're trying to be out there in the public eye, then you got to be. You know, that's what you call on yourself by being in the public role model. Okay. What's next? Um, what's next for you? Like I say, I mean, we, right now, we just released Dead Man Walking Internationally, and that's featuring Massacre out of the original doctrine from Jamaica. Right. So, that, I mean, that right now, you know, starting to, to make some waves around the place. I like, get feedback from, like, Argentina, Kenya, and and you, San Francisco, U.S. places, and, and my story right now, you know what I mean, pumping hard on jams and, you know what I mean, the other stations, 104 and whatnot. Um, but in the future, what we're doing is right now, we just pushing out singles, pushing out music, just building a vibe right now for the rest of maybe this year. Mm -hmm. So just expect more solid music, collaborations, you know what I mean? And by next year sometime, expect an album and some videos to come out too. Y'all heard? Well, we've come